celebrating back-to-back -back championships. This is the Stanley Cup Champions Victory Celebration, live on ABC Action News. Proudly sponsored by Wawa. The Bay looks like this is the scene right here. Hundreds of boats in the middle of Hillsborough River waiting for this thing to get started. And Sean Daly here with me. And Sean, uh, we thought we saw the Stanley Cup. No, they get there are pretend <laughs> Stanleys pretend and Stanley. real Stanleys. I love them all. I love them all. You know, we are right in front of the convention center right near Jackson's. And it is like a game of aquatic Tetris out here. Yeah. As everybody is getting ready for the cup to show up, we can see the motorcade. About, that's what you call it, motorboatcade coming up. You can hear the cheers, the cup's coming up, but there are a lot of people in the water. Captain Gale here with Cruz and Tiki, he's doing a great job of keeping us safe, but he's used some salty pirate language already <laughs> about people getting close to our beautiful Tiki boat. Leave us alone, we're trying to do our job here. So we're anticipating uh, the motorcade coming through. We can see the lights there in the distance, and uh, that's when things are really gonna get jumping here, and you'll see people just erupting. If you haven't already, you're starting to hear it in the background yeah, there. And you can hear the volume call kind of going up as oh, they yeah. get closer. You know, we used to be mocked as a sports city. Now we're not only envied, but we're almost hated a little bit because of our recent success. That's where you want to be in life when you're when you're not liked because you're so good and you keep winning. Exactly. It's <laughs> kind of like New England, right? They had all these champions, and now we get to share in it. And, man, do we eat it up? I mean, this city does championships unlike any other. We get on the water, baby. We have a water party. I love it. This is Tampa Bay style. I think every city would love to do a boat parade. And I'll tell you something, Sean, for it being in the middle of July, Actually, not bad. The weather's holding right now. We've got a nice canopy of clouds. It could be hotter and more miserable out here, hey, and listen, it's not. And it's always 72 degrees and beautiful when you're on a tiki <laughs> boat, right? That comes with the package. Shout out to the photographer Matt Lathan here, who's doing a great job with his sea legs. We, staying sturdy out here. We should mention the only thing we're drinking, though, today is Powerade. This I is not spiked. I have searched the entire tiki <laughs> boat just to make sure there is no alcohol in there. I'll keep looking, but I think this is a dry tiki boat. James and Dia, what do you think? The party's about to really start. <laughs> <laughs> we keep thinking that we see your tiki boat, but apparently there must be two tiki boats because there's one right in our view. And James has got the binoculars out trying to see if that's Paul and Sean. But I tell you, the crowd out here is really incredible. It has grown in the past hour or so. Fans are so excited to see the Stanley Cup champions. We, we have no idea how far away they are from us. We're estimating, what, maybe 20 minutes or so? Think? Uh, I think it's less than that, but it's hard to gauge speed. That's yeah. the hardest part. I'd say we go back to the tiki boat with Paul and Sean, but you know, they might lose connection, you know, which is what I would do if yeah. I had a boat mm -hmm. full of booze like that. Mm -hmm. Like it's a fun day. Everyone's really out here uh, to celebrate the back to back Stanley Cup championships. As we mentioned, a team that fully loaded and came right back at it here with basically the same roster to win it all in 2021, much like the Bucks are trying to do as well. Dia says we should just call this a yearly tradition. Find something to celebrate here along the Riverwalk. Exactly. Hey, let's go back to Paul and okay, Sean on that tiki boat because they thought they saw the bolts pretty close by. Sean, uh, what are you seeing? Yeah, we're seeing all the action right now. Sean, uh, what do we got in front of us? Uh, it looks like we got all the police are coming in, clearing out. It's going to be very, very interesting. You see it coming on our right over there. They're going to kind of loop around us. Um, <laughs> we have quite a sight right in front of yeah, us. Yeah, uh, right. hey, kids, hide your eyes for a second. Kids we may need to. Uh... Your eyes. It's getting a little <laughs> saucy out here on this the is, river. This is a tiki bar after and all. Guys, you can just see we have boats <laughs> everywhere. This is going to get very interesting. We got this guy filming us. So, this is nuts, everybody. Yeah. Wow, how exciting is this? And we're, we're expecting uh, the team and the players and the Stanley Cup out right there, Matt. You see that? They're hoisting it up. There it is. 12 o'clock in front of you. Got Coach and, Cooper. And uh, right oh, in front of the Prince of Wales Cup. Of Harbor Island got there. Cooper so, the Prince of Wales Cup. All right, we're back here on the Hillsborough River, a little congested, as you can see, right behind this boat. Just seconds ago, we could see head coach John Cooper, Wendy, yeah, that's uh, right. enjoying a victory cigar. He's got the Prince of Wales trophy on the front. 
He was spraying uh, some champagne. He was spraying some champagne. And there the he most is, tenured folks. coach. He's been with the team since 2013. And really, actually, Friday night I saw on Instagram, he brought the cup to Donatello's. Ooh. And he was taking pictures with all the fans <laughs> at Donatello's on Friday night. So he's just so, so happy for this incredible team. And he is the longest running coach, tenured coach. 2013, he's been with the Tampa Bay Bolts. And I, we, of course, hope uh, he didn't go anywhere anytime soon. I'll tell you, he's uh, he's having a good time as the coach here when they brought him back about eight years ago onto the team, and he's had phenomenal success, folks. I mean, this is uh, this is something special. He talked about it the other night in the post-game press conference. You know, who thinks that they're going to have just all these successful runs? I mean, if you really think about it, Wendy, this could have been a four-peat back in 2018, losing in the Eastern Conference Finals to the Washington Capitals. Had they won that game, they run the table uh, to the end. And obviously then getting uh, knocked out in the first round against Columbus the following year. That was another year, really, that uh, unfortunately they won the President's Cup. This could have been a four-peat, but hey, a two-peat, it's unbelievable. We're looking at the Conn Smythe Trophy right now with Vassy uh, back on his boat. That's right. Uh, we're sticking close to uh, John Cooper down here. He's kind of having a hard time kind of maneuvering his way, but... Uh, because it's, between the players, there's just such tight security. We got St. Pete Police, we got Tampa Police, we got divers in case they decide to uh, uh, throw the, the cup or in, in case anybody goes overboard. And of course, all the fans. So it's just, uh, it's bumper to bumper. And um, our photographer Tim's doing his hardest to keep the shot right. in check and getting close up of the players in the cup. Look at this. Coach Cooper spraying other boats with champagne. Listen, he's a really reserved guy, Wendy. I mean, his press conferences are, are usually pretty quiet. Uh, you know, he gives all the credit to his players. Yeah. When something goes wrong, he says, hey, that's on me. But otherwise, he's a quiet guy. But I'll tell you what, when he wins, he knows how to celebrate. One of his favorite <laughs> things, Wendy, is he quotes the movie Wedding Crashers <laughs> to his players. One of his rules, he says to his players, rule number 76, no excuses, play like a champion. There and, you go. Uh, and, th and that's it. Okay. Two-time champ, back-to-back. -back. Uh, James and Dia? Yeah, we'll throw it over to you guys. Um, I'm sure you've got quite a vantage point where you are, too, along the Riverwalk. Yeah, we do. Thank you so much, guys. We're still waiting for the bolts to pass by us. We can imagine or, you know, we anticipate that they should be here uh, pretty quickly because a lot of the boats here have dropped anchor. They're sitting, they're waiting. There's a lot of activity, a whole lot of helicopters circling overhead. So we would imagine that they're pretty close by. What did Sean call it? Aquatic Tetris or something? <laughs> Everyone out here jockeying for yes, position? Yes, exactly. And, you know, you've got people on jet skis, Dia. You've got boats, large and small, all getting ready here. Uh, for the arrival of this team on these boats. Coach smoking a cigar, Steven Stamkos lifting the trophy, all these things, these people here along the Riverwalk where we are, it is getting more and more packed yeah, as we approach the uh, almost almost noon now. Uh, so we do expect them to come by here pretty soon. Hey, James, take a look at that boat right there. The Con Smythe Trophy is on that boat. We've been talking about also the cup. You see the Stanley Cup. It's coming on a jet ski, from what we understand. They've got the cup on a jet ski, so we're waiting to see that. I think it's that jet ski right there. So if you kind of zoom in on that, and I think you'll it be was able to gently it. handed over to that jet ski. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Okay. So we're still waiting to get a closer look at it. But you know, we, they were talking about the. Yeah, everybody's talking about the Stanley Cup and how much it weighs. A Conn Smythe Trophy is pretty heavy too. That's a that's a pretty big trophy. Well, you know, Dia, they call it the greatest trophy in sports the Stanley Cup. The Conn Smythe's up there. I mean, yeah. it's a little gaudier, but. <laughs> I'd still put it on a, I'd put, I'd find a shelf for it in my place. There okay, there we is. go. Now there we have eyes is. on the jet ski and the trophy as it uh, leaves that very impressive yacht now making its way oh back gosh. down here through the parade route. What an amazing sight that is. You know what? I'm sure that you're going to see this over and over again all across the nation. That is an amazing shot. Again, that is so unique to Tampa Bay. We kept talking about how this parade was really born out of necessity because, of course, you know, when the Bolts won the championship last year, Year. They wanted to celebrate them, so they put them on the river because it was the safest way to celebrate and have a parade. And then, of course, when the Bucks won, did the same thing again. The fans loved it. And now I think fans just want to demand, you know, <laughs> they demand that we have a boat parade because it really is unique to Tampa. That is an amazing sight. It is definitely a thing. We're looking at you, Tampa Bay Rays. You're up next. Yes.
Yes. Uh, Dia says she's going to find a way to celebrate a boat parade one way or the other. She'll find something to celebrate. <laughs> uh, you know, we're, we're seeing out here where we are. And again, we're right across from the University of Tampa at the Sheridan Riverwalk Hotel. We're going to get a really good look here when this entire uh, parade makes its way past us. But right now what you're seeing on your screen, you've got the Stanley Cup trophy itself on a jet ski moving probably from one boat to another uh, when we last saw it it was with captain steven stamkos victor hedman of course two just vital pieces of this team they were enjoying it looks like they're ready to pass it on i can't really tell who that is with the jet ski right now we were mentioning that a lot of the bolts have shaved up their beards because of course you win the championship you shave your beard so they look a whole lot different you know <laughs> if without we had a say in that we would have pleaded with them, please Just don't the shave beards. the beards. Yeah. We know what you look like with the beards. Exactly. Without the beards, that's where we're going to have look some problems different. today. But we're um, we're seeing one of the players we would imagine with the Stanley Cup on that jet ski, just kind of rolling through, wading through those boats there. We think that they're pretty close by because the activity has really picked up here. So hopefully we'll get a chance to see it up close and What's we can so much tell you fun who has it. About the cup, and I'm glad we're spending a lot of time looking at the cup. There is just one of them. Uh, that is the cup that was commissioned by Lord Stanley in the 1890s. Now, are there any original parts of it? Probably not, but it's kind of fun to think about. Yeah. There's replicas of all kinds of other sports trophies. <laughs> not that <laughs> God. Again, look at there. Look at that. I have to ask my producers, they have a better vantage point. Do we know yet who that is on the jet ski? All right, we just, we're, we're just we're getting word that, yes, out. in fact, they did All spray right. champagne right, so on the jet they ski. They sprayed champagne on the jet got ski. Got well, right you know, that's what you do when the Stanley Cup comes by. We saw them earlier. The players were drinking out of the Stanley Cup, you know. And we have so a Victor yeah, Hedman sighting as well, I'm, I'm hearing. Yes. That's yep. a beautiful sight there. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody holding that thing up. You mentioned, yeah, there we, looks like they're trying to hold that up on the jet ski. Be very careful with that. What, 35 pounds is how much that cup weighs? Yeah, about 35 pounds, Dia. Uh, you know, we, we've made the enough jokes uh, throughout the morning. Or is the Stanley Cup going to get the Tom Brady Lombardi toss treatment today? We don't, we don't think so. Uh, you're looking at a, something that's about seven times heavier I than the you, Lombardi trophy. I can tell you, look at trophy. that, how close he's getting to the fans. Of course, the fans want to get an up-close look at it, but, man, it's getting really, really close with that trophy. Uh, it's, that, it's amazing for the fans just to be able to experience that. And, you know, the thing about the Riverwalk, D, is you do, you do seemingly get closer yeah. to the players, right, and closer to the parade here with the way the Riverwalk is set up. Now they're putting on the jet ski, I would assume the reason being is they can do just that. They can get up a little bit closer and give fans a better look at that uh, that cup. I know. And then, of course, you know, we like to think that we have ownership of that as well. You know, the fans here are some of the best in the country, in the NHL. You know, people have said for years that Tampa Bay is not a hockey town, but we've proven over and over again that that's wrong. Back-to-back -back Stanley Cup championships. I was here in 2004 when they won. It was not a boat parade. It was the traditional parade. It, just as much excitement, but I can tell you, if I had my pick, boat parade every single time. I'm I, like wondering, why didn't we do it back then? I agree I agree with you 100%. And, uh, you know, as we take a look here, I've got an unconfirmed report that some fans were sprayed with champagne as well. So not just I'm getting sure a look at the mind. cup, getting a little taste they out of it as well, which is really cool. Uh, you know, that, that you've got a good point, Dia. It, it, there's something about hockey in this town, and you got to hand it to the Tampa Bay Lightning's ownership group. Uh, no team in this area has marketed better. Everywhere you look, there's Bolts signage. When they're in the playoffs, you see Go Bolt signs all across the Bay Area. I mean, Everywhere. in parts of Hillsborough County, of course, and it stretches over into Pinellas County. Billboards, you see the signs outside car dealerships. I was driving down Dale Mabry this morning. All these different banners and stuff. Everybody's supporting the Bolts. Everybody loves the team. Everybody's so proud of the team. And the reason that this parade is today and it wasn't this weekend is because one of Jeff Finnick's sons got married on Saturday. And Tampa Mayor uh, Jane Castor uh, said that she could not have this parade without the Finnick family. All right, that is Alex Kalorn on the jet ski getting confirmation. Thank you so much to our great producers helping us here through our, our eyes in the sky, if you will. Now, as this parade dia makes its way towards us, again, we're right across from the University of Tampa. They right, handed the cup off. There it is there. It's back another, on the boat there. Another cup handoff here. Looks like that's Coach John Cooper with his hands on the cup, hoisting it in the air or about to. And there Look we there. go. Coop hoisting that cup above his head. We can't hear, but we know the crowd is just going wild. Absolutely wild. 
It's amazing to see that. And, it, you know, it, it's, it's got to feel good for the players, too, you know, to be able to celebrate with their families. Last year, they couldn't really do that, you know, because yeah. they were in the bubble. This year, to be able to win the championship at home with their family, I mean, it had to be so emotional for them. It had to be. And it, you, you kind of have to wonder if last year was all they got. Yeah. Would it have been enough? Yeah. Because it was so strange. It was yeah. so unusual. So. It's really nice to bring it home this year under much more regular circumstances. What can you say? You really can't say enough about, about Coach Cooper either. You know, when they lost in the first round of playoffs to the Columbus Blue Jackets after having such a tremendous regular Come to season, Dia. Here we go. Some said he was lucky to still keep his job. And what a wise decision by this franchise to hold on to him. You know, the resiliency that he had. These guys motivated to keep pushing for it and get over that hump. Part of and the reasons why we're here today. Goal. Yeah, part of the reason why we're here today. Want to go back to Jameson and Wendy. They're on a boat. Are you guys like before the bolts or after the bolts? Where are you in the parade lineup? Uh, we are literally staring at the Stanley Cup trophy. You have the Prince of Wales here on the front of John Cooper's boat. He was just hoisting the trophy over his head there just a moment ago. I think we might get it again. Uh, here we go. He's got a cigar in his mouth. And he's I love that he's wearing a Gronk t-shirt, Jameson. Hold he's wearing a Gronk t-shirt. He's You're about hoist. to lift the Stanley Cup. He's got it. That's John Cooper. Here we go, folks. The Bolts coach. Oh, they're drinking out of the cup Oh, right they're now. drinking out of it first. The spoils, just, the spoils of victory, Wendy. Yes, I'll tell you. He would, drink out of the Stanley Cup. And he was drinking some champagne earlier, screaming at the crowd. And we've got Kalorn now on a jet ski. He was spraying Kalorn with some champagne as well. Well, it was Kalorn who actually brought him the trophy over on a jet ski. <laughs> he went over to the docks here on Harbor Island. And this Middle, is Cooper's personal boat, by the way, this too. This is. This is. Everybody's drinking out of the cup right now. The we silver also, chalice, if you will. I was going to say, we also saw earlier, uh, just a moment ago, we saw the owner, Jeff Vinnick, on his own boat, I should say his yacht. Yes, of And course. as we know, this parade uh, was delayed till today because his son got married Saturday night. But here we go. We got an up-close look of John Cooper right there holding the Stanley Cup. He's letting the players sip out of it. I'm sure it's champagne. They're all having a little bit of it. Hey, hey, folks. What an incredible there, there, celebration. There, there, there's no closer seat in the house than this, folks, on ABC <laughs> Action News. It's such an incredible moment. All these players surrounded by just so many fans, so excited to cheer them on for back-to-back -back wins. Such an incredible atmosphere out here. I mean, thank you to Freedom Boat oh, Club. There he goes. There it is. The cup. John Cooper's been with the team since 2013, and uh, he has done just an incredible job right. with these players. As we've Push talked about, we're over the salary cap, 18 million. He's got some decisions to make. Idling. Unfortunately, he can't protect here. all Wendy, the players. Wendy, we uh, we got up close to uh, Lightning owner Jeff Finnick there a couple minutes. We Jeff said, Finnick, yeah, Jeff Finnick's boat should say yacht right is. next door. Yes, look at this. This is Lightning owner Jeff Finnick's yacht. We are so close to each boat. Uh, our captain Pat's just trying not to hit the other ones next to him. Oh, they tossed the boat from one one boat to another. Not thrown it. Didn't throw it. They actually just handed it off, as they say. <laughs> just let you take this moment in, folks. Oh. That is Lightning owner Jeff Vinnick holding up the cup. You're looking at Jeff Vinnick. Whoa, almost lost the cup there. Jeff Vinnick, the owner of this team, he has put so much time, effort, and money into making not just the team, but Amelie Arena one of the best arenas in the country. And if you've ever been to a Lightning game, the light show and all the special effects, that's uh, Mr. Jeff Vinnick's job to make sure the crowd has just as incredible of an experience as the team and uh, he has just done an incredible job owning this team and making sure the fans get all the things that they love about this team and experience every game every especially now that COVID's over and we had a sold out crowd to see game five see him win they're all holding up the cup What an incredible moment. A little bit of a log jam down here, but it's to be expected. <laughs> now, you're asking, how did, how did the Stanley Cup trophy start making its way from boat to boat? It was Alex Kalorn who got on a jet ski, brought it over, I believe with Eric Chernak, came over and started handing the, uh, the cup off to head coach John Cooper. Then John Cooper's boat handed it off to 
Lightning owner Jeff Finnick's boat. And uh, we're having a good time. And you know, I'm just glad they're not throwing the cup. Instead, they're just handing it off <laughs> carefully. As we saw Vinick just try to lift it over his head. He almost lost it. It almost went backwards. Oh, now Vinick is, is now drinking out of the cup. <laughs> a little champagne in the mouth. <laughs> oh, I think he got more of it over his face than in his mouth, but you know, what a fun time. He is, he's such a reserved guy otherwise, and to see him enjoying this is is special it is special and you know what i have to tell you jameson i've met him many times he's so philanthropic he's very involved with uh the friedrich ataxia research alliance he gives uh, so much money so much so much of his time as well to that organization and he's just so philanthropic and this is his home so it's just uh he's just an incredible guy not just um obviously to the to the bolts and and to the fans and the Emily Arena and all he's done with that, but just to our community, he's a very very special individual, and um, just what an amazing time to see him celebrate. And of course, his son got married Saturday night, so he said, "Hold off, we can't do the celebration." And Mayor Castro said, "No, you got to be there." So that's why it's here on Monday. All right, here's a question for you, Wendy. Would you rather hold the Lombardi Trophy or drink out of the Stanley Cup? <laughs> That, you know, that's a I, you know what, I think I'd rather drink out of the Stanley Cup, right? Me too. Because that's Me a too. moment that, you, you know, I'll, I, and I'll tell you, though, you got to watch it because I think you get it all over your face. I think very little goes actually into your mouth. That is fully expected. <laughs> uh, just bring a change of clothes. I was going to say, but it looks like they're drinking some pretty good champagne. I saw yeah. some Dom Perignons and uh, some nice bottles, so. Well, you're not going be, cheap, yeah. right? You don't, you don't want to be, you know, having the brute in there, you know? It's, uh, <laughs> you want to get the good stuff for a, for a you know, a, a celebration like this. Whoa. Yeah, it is something else. I, I will tell you, you know, we got uh, next to Killer's Boat just a little while ago, and I was asking him how the old leg was doing. You could tell, uh, you could tell he was, you know, just about a a couple weeks post-surgery because he still had his uh, shoe on, not tied. Right, but you know what? He was standing, and, and he, he seemed was. to be doing all right, Listen, which is, uh, Wendy, I don't know. Wendy, after about <laughs> nine beers, everything feels all right. I guess that's true, right? He, yeah. yeah. I have noticed uh, a lot of fans throwing in Bud Lights out to the boats. A lot of the players doing shotguns with their beers today. Yeah, spraying uh, the bottles of champagne, having too. Sure. Having a good time. And that's what it's all about. I will. Uh, I will say, Wendy, this this kind of rivals the uh, the Bucks and the and the crowd that was out there that day. And Absolutely. you're talking about the numbers. This I is, think it's it, much more crowded. At least it feels like that right yeah. now. I mean, way more crowded. Um, and maybe because we're getting pretty good at having these boat parades, right? I'll I mean, you. we know how to do it. And even though it's Monday, so many people are saying, hey, we're going to play hooky and we're going to be out there on the boat cheering our bolts back-to-back -back champions. I, I talked you into getting out on the water on this boat today, <laughs> and I could tell you, were, uh, I don't want to throw up on camera. I, I know. And well, now you're happy you're out I'm on the boat. I'm so happy. There you I go. will say, I will say, hey. Oh. What's up? So what many fans. <laughs> oh, even the dog is dressed up in lightning gear. That's awesome. And we, we've seen uh, Bolt's bikinis. We've seen, you see that? We got a, a blue beard going on. That's all <laughs> shiny, just like the Bolt's would like it. These fans are so fantastic. They are loving being out here celebrating our Champa Bay. And you're right, Jameson, initially when we first got on the boat, it was choppy, but now it is smooth sailing. It's beautiful out here. Now the boats are going to start making their way towards Julian B. Lane Park. We've got a, uh, a big celebration planned there around 2 o'clock. We're hoping the weather's going to be all right. Right, but I believe that the players are supposed to be heading to end at Ricks on the River. Yes. And then they will be uh, taking a trolley Which to is closed Julian off. B. Lane Park. But as Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips talked about, 2 o'clock is probably when some of the storms are going to roll in. So if you are planning on heading out to the park, you may want to be careful. Watch the lightning. Yeah. Keep watching us. Make sure that you stay safe because uh, it, that, that celebration may be delayed a bit. Yeah, and that's why they're trying to move these boats along. Um, you know, the, the, the boats parade the first time around. They didn't get into the stadium for about about two hours later than expected. Everything kind of gets going a little late, we understand, but we know because of the weather situation, they're trying to get these guys moving. But all these other boats want to get up next to their boats. Absolutely. Slow them Everybody down a wants bit. to take selfies, so uh, you know, with the guys in the background. They all want to take video. We got fans here screaming. They're all just so excited to cheer on their Tampa Bay champions. I will say the uh, we've got about four different law enforcement agencies trying to 
trying to part the Red Sea here, if you will, <laughs> uh, trying to get these boats through. I mean, uh, you know, John Cooper's boat, uh, Jeff Finnick's boat all got stopped up a little bit, but that's okay. I will say that at one point, Wendy, Killer's jet ski got right up to the docks here on Harbor Island, right outside of Jackson's, and Killer did a little, uh, should we say, Lambo leap <laughs> up into the folks there on the, uh, on the dock. Oh, that's right. All right, we're going to send it over to uh, Dia and James now with a look at where they are along the river walk. I have to imagine you guys are got some nice views too from your vantage point. That's us with the Con Smythe Trophy. When he held it up, the crowd went crazy. They started cheering, Bassy, Bassy. It was amazing. <laughs> it was a really cool <laughs> moment. I'll be the first one to say it, probably. I'm glad they're out here getting some sun. Yes. <laughs> they all need it. I thought it. the same thing. I thought the same thing. You live in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Take the shirts off. They definitely need a little bit of sun. Some other players, they're moving past us here, throwing um, some Bud Light cans towards the, uh, the crowd of people that have gathered out here as we're right across from the University of Tampa. That's a pretty cool moment. Of course, Nikita Kucherov is the one to thank. He was guzzling that during his press conference. Bud Light saw it. And they signed him, and they're providing beer for all the players today. Yeah, and, and the players are providing beer for some of the fans. They were tossing <laughs> Bud Light, tossing on them. bottles of beer into the crowd, and every time somebody would catch it, they would cheer. It was, it's such a festive out atmosphere out here right now. We're still waiting to see the Stanley Cup. I haven't seen the Stanley Cup trophy yet. You know, we saw the Conn Smythe trophy, but we haven't seen the Stanley We've Cup. We've got Did a lot we're it? trying to spot, Dia. We're trying yeah. to spot the cup itself. Of course, Wendy and Jameson right next to it. We've got Paul Le Grown and Sean Daly in a tiki hut that we're still on the uh, on the lookout for as well. I would say, you know, if we're going to compare things to the Super Bowl parade, mm -hmm. and I think it's it, right now the energy is fantastic. It is, but I'm I'm really liking the energy with this crowd. We know hockey fans tend to be a little more rabid. Yeah, I'm not necessarily seeing that. Everybody's just really pumped up, having a great time. Everybody's so excited out here. You've got the, you've got kids out here. Everybody's wearing some kind of T-shirt, some kind of jersey. Look at there. There's the Stanley Cup. We're we're waiting to find out where that boat is in relation to where we're sitting right now. We keep looking to see if we can see that boat and that flag, but there it is, right there. Just an amazing sight. It looks like it's going to be transferred again from one boat to another because they're awfully close to each other. I think they're going to do a handoff, James. What do you I, think? I think it's going to be a handoff, but let's just stay on this shot, Dia, to make sure. There's been a lot of chatter about that trophy toss, and right here it just looks like it's going to be a very gentle, a very safe. The keeper of the cup can breathe easy because I believe this is going to be a very there it goes. nice and safe handoff. See it there. there it goes. And I think we can say it is a successful handoff of the 35-pound cup christened by... The one, the only, Lord Stanley. There it goes overhead again. No, I'm, I'm keeping a sharp eye on it, Dia. It looks like it's still being hoisted in the air. <laughs> so no handoff yet, but you know what? There is a huge yacht that's passing us right now. The crowd is going crazy. Just a bunch of fans on this yacht. They're all yelling, Tampa Bay. The crowd is having so much fun out here. This parade in comparison to the Bucks Parade, remember the Bucks Parade was, you know, during the pandemic before vaccinations and still there were a lot of people out here. It was very rowdy. It was. This parade here, not as rowdy, just as exciting though. Um, you know, so many fans out here having such a good time. And, and I've noticed a lot of jerseys and you know, those jerseys are not light. They're, they're pretty thick. It's hot out here. Well, it's you know, not as hot as we thought it was going to be, though, because it's been a nice cloud cover that's kind of keeping it comfortable. Agreed. Well, it kind of goes hand in hand with being a hockey fan here in uh, the great state of Florida. That's part of it. You've got to kind of tough it out. Nobody ever complains about that, though, as I can report a successful handoff of the trophy from one boat to another as we have our spotters out here keeping an eye as Dia and I come to you live here from the Sheridan Riverwalk Hotel, beautifully placed here right along the Riverwalk, right next to Julian B. Lane, very close to that, and right across the street from the University of Tampa. As you're seeing now, more images as our crew is getting of the Stanley Cup itself in this parade as it is moving uh, not exactly at a brisk pace, Dia. They want to try and beat out the storms here in a couple of hours, but it is moving its way uh, toward 
Julian B. Lane Park. Actually, the, the parade is going to end at Rick's on the River, and then they're going to backtrack a bit and take the stage at Julian B. Lane Park. There's going to be a lot of entertainment going on there. You're going to have Bo Williams performing his um, song that was kind of at the... The hype song. The, exactly, the hype song for the fans. Also, Big Boy is going to take the stage. The players are going to take the stage, and you know that that is going to be fun because you never know what they're going to say. This is the end of their season. You know, the crowning achievement of their career. They won the Stanley Cup. They're going to let loose. So, <laughs> so brace yourself. You just never know what they're going to say. They're already letting pretty loose, Dia. But they've earned this. They deserve it. And there is a, a much different feel in the air uh, this time around with this particular parade because you're right. Uh, we're kind of um, working our way back towards some kind of normalcy. And people are gathering here without any guilt of doing it. Yeah. That was the unusual thing about the Super Bowl parade is that People gathered in tight quarters for the first time in a very long time during that parade. Yeah, we learned later on that, you know, being outdoors was a lot safer than being indoors. So I think people felt comfortable just coming out. They just wanted something to celebrate. The Bucks parade was totally of so much fun. And then to be able to do this again, three parades, three championship parades in less than 10 months. I, know. I tell you, that's how we do it in Champa Bay. That's how we, we do it. Going. The pressure back on the next team to possibly do it. Could it be the Bucks? They've reloaded just as the Lightning have as they headed into this year, this upcoming football season. Could it be them? Could it be the Tampa Bay Rays? Hey, they got close last season. They, they got, got awfully very close to the World Series. So, you know, this is um, this. Yeah, this is really earmarked for us. This is our type of celebration that uh, we can embrace and we can show off a little bit of our city, this beautiful Riverwalk. Uh, a lot of recent renovations done along here. If this is a place where if you have not spent some time jogging out here, walking, taking this in, started Armature Works, started Bayshore, uh, it really doesn't matter. This is something you need to see and enjoy for yourself if you live in the Bay Area. Exactly. Okay, take a look at this. There is another handoff of the Stanley Cup trophy going from one boat to another. A lot of the t-shirts, in fact, our t-shirts, you know, cup, boat, parade, repeat. You've seen other people with shirts that say back to boat, you know? So we've seen that trophy handoff handed off from boat to boat to boat and from jet ski. You know, we also saw, uh, was it Alex Kloren on the Alex jet ski Klorin. with the Stanley Cup, riding around with it, everybody hoisting it overhead. There we go again. The crowd goes wild every single time. It never gets old. And one thing that we're happy of, we've not seen them toss the cup. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Uh, you and Sean Daly might differ with the way you feel about that. I think he's rooting for it. Matter oh, gosh, I heard he no. Call I know Greg D was, too. Would happen. Greg That's D okay. was, too. Well, thank you so much for watching our special coverage here. We are on with you continuously um, throughout this parade as it makes its way down the Hillsborough River. A Rick's on the river, which is a pretty good place to hang out and grab a bite to eat. There'll be some live entertainment there. They're going to backtrack to Julian B. Lane Park. They were estimated to start their idea around 2 o'clock. Um, it's about five afternoon It's going to be now. tight. Uh, hold on, yeah. I just was told something back from the control booth. What was that again? Oh. We're going to toss it. Yep, we've, yep, we've got Sean and Paul in the Tiki. Dia, we're going to send it over to them to see what they are seeing. Hey, guys. Yes, the Tiki boot is still afloat. It's uh, <laughs> open for business. Captain Gale here Hop navigating on, through the choppy waters. Uh, we've been chasing the cup as best we can. Uh, we think we saw Alex Kaloran on a, a jet ski. On a jet ski. And we saw uh, oh, Cooch. How you doing? You know, you know when Cooch is going by, everyone's screaming out Cooch. He was riding with uh, some officers, officers of the law. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was legit. And Cooch had his shirt on. Yeah, he did. He, was, did. Uh, he was had his shirt on today. I was to take it off. But you know, no and word to the wise, so Sean, watch out for flying beers because I learned that the hard way during the Bucks parade. Let me tell you, Paul, I am always on the lookout for flying <laughs> beers for all sorts of different reasons. They're, they're starting to toss them out here as uh, things get going. I, I think they're starting to get the boats moving down the river. Toward I know, and I, again, Julian. shout out to Tiki Captain Gale here who's kept us safe. It's been really, like I said before, it's like water Tetris, right? We got it's Yanni so Gord on amazing. camera right now, Sean, apparently. Oh, we got Yanni so. Gord. I love Yanni Gord. <laughs> He's All these guys favorites. coming together. You know, what a magical season, Sean. And, you know, the road wasn't always as slick as the ice that they play on. I mean, you go back to when they got bounced from the first round a few years ago yeah. against Columbus, and then they come back and win it during COVID last year. But this year on home ice, there's nothing more special than that. I'm telling you, Paul, I, I you know, I'm probably going to overstate something here, but <laughs> right now, out here on the water, in front of the convention center, I feel like we are the epicenter of the sports universe right now. Today we are, my friend, and the envy of the sports world, it too. It really and is. I'm, I'm holding 
getting crusty. I've been in this business for a while. But a day like this, it's really special. I was like, I, you know, I was a kid again. It was so exciting to see all this. Well, it really inspires you. And, you know, I don't know, uh, last year with the Stanley Cup, just uh, sort of some uh, useless trivia knowledge for you, they I actually were able to um, engrave the names in advance, and the players got to see the names of themselves and the team last year because of COVID. I don't know if they've actually engraved the names this year on the Cup or not. Oh, they might wow. be back to the regular protocol. So uh, as they're hoisting that cup around, uh, their names are already on it because of last year yeah. and uh, winning it before. Uh, all right, we're going to send it back to Wendy and Janice. And Wendy, I'm not leaving this tiki boat until you get on here too. <laughs> Wendy Ryan, get on this tiki boat now. Hey, here we are. <laughs> Yeah, I will tell you what, we are standing here right next to the cup. You don't get any closer than this. Ryan McDonough, Pat Maroon on their boat, raising the cup, well-deserved. What a great day. Oh my gosh, and as we know, Patrick Maroon, one of the only guys uh, to win three cups, not just with, the, obviously, the Bolts. There he is, winning 2021, but also win St. Louis back in 2014. By the way, thanks to Captain Pat with Freedom Boat Club, who has no fear at all getting us right next to the cup. Right? Absolutely awesome. Excellent. <laughs> That's good. That's good captain right there. Pat Maroon's asking how we feeling. You can hear all the fans just screaming at him, celebrating this incredible moment. There it is. I will say, Wendy, what was sitting on the front of that boat just a few moments ago was the Bud Light Cup. It is a Stanley Cup that is made out of all Bud Light cans. Yeah, I thought that was pretty they impressive. They moved it for and the real we, thing. Right, and as we know, uh, uh, Nikita Kucherov has been sponsored tonight by Bud Obviously, Light. Obviously, somebody's and, thirsty here, Wendy. <laughs> asking the crowd to cheer even louder. Drinking a Bud Light. As we mentioned, Kucherov got that sponsorship after his epic post-news conference, shirtless, drinking a Bud Light. Ryan McDonough, as, folks, going I mean, for the yeah. drink. Ryan asking McDonough going for the drink. There he is, drinking out of the cup. What an incredible moment. It, it's interesting to see that the players are just passing this from boat to boat, but they're doing it a lot more cautiously, <laughs> shall we say. <laughs> well, it's 35 pounds compared to just uh, eight pounds of the, um, when the Bucks, you know, won the Super Bowl. So it's a little different. You can't have Tom Brady tossing a Stanley Cup like that. That's just, that doesn't happen. So uh, I, I think it's nice that they're just handing it off very gracefully. Yes. We've got plenty of uh, beer to fill up that cup today and go around, as you can see. Sights and sounds of a Stanley Cup parade, folks. The sights and sounds of a Stanley Cup parade. You know, when you get to do it once, Wendy, it's special. There's a lot of cities who have been waiting decades for something like this. The fact that uh, we've done it now two years in a row with a Bucks parade sandwiched in between. You know, you don't take these for granted. Absolutely. And you know, it's it's just. It's an incredible moment, too, because after the year and a half of this pandemic, it's so nice to see smiles, no masks, people literally up close, shoulder to shoulder, not worried about the pandemic anymore, and just taking in this this incredible moment. And unlike last year in 2020, when they had to win with no fans in the audience up in Edmonton in a bubble, being away from their family and friends and fans for you know, two months straight, and then now here winning in game five to a sold out crowd and now celebrating again, literally with boats surrounding them full of fans screaming their name and saying thank you for another championship. It's just, it's such an incredible feeling. I get goosebumps just watching all these guys just take it in and they're just so down to earth. These guys are not pretentious. They're just, um, you know, they're just like us and they live here, so this is their home. This is, and I'll tell you, it's, um, you know, when you, when you call this home, even in your off season, it, it makes it feel that much more special to these players. Absolutely. Because they, they run into these fans at restaurants and when they're out and about. You know, and they have homes here. They're not just renting somewhere. This is. That's right. They're not flying back to Sweden or Russia or Canada. They live here. Their kids go to school here. Um, they, you know, their kids train. Even some of the some of the sons are already training to. Uh, hi there, training to um, 
to play hockey. In fact, they play at the Wesley Chapel Hockey Rink as well as in Brandon. Um, and a lot of these kids are, they may follow in the footsteps of their dads because, uh, you know, some of the best trainers um, in the world right here in the Bay Area. So I'll tell you what, Wendy, I'm looking down at my phone and realizing we may just be talking on our own <laughs> because they're, everybody's chewing up so much bandwidth here that our, our IFB, the, 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 the way that we're able to hear that we're actually on the air right now, has cut out. Bistro on the water, and we really haven't moved very much. Yeah, hey guys, I'll tell you, the fans have been so incredible surrounding these guys, and they're supposed to be heading all the way to Ricks on the River, all the way along the Riverwalk, but we're not going very far. Yeah, yeah, you know, John Cooper, you can see him, right, guys? We are literally right in the middle of it right now. We've been listening to your amazing coverage, and there's, you can hear everybody. Those are boos. That's Coop, John Cooper, head coach. And there it is. <laughs> Smoking a stogie. <laughs> and there you go. There you go. So we continue, you know, it, it's funny because we've been listening to your coverage and for the longest time we couldn't see what was behind you guys because of the giant yachts that were in there. Now that they have cleared out, <laughs> we just see what I think is officially about 11 billion boats on the river right now all going across and the line just continues to move on through. I mean, obviously we've seen a lot of the players and it's great because, you know, a lot of times Wendy and Jameson were talking a couple of minutes ago comparing this to the Bucks celebration and Wendy, I'm with you. I think there are far more boats in the river right now than what we had with the Bucks. And, and it is, it's interesting because it's actually a really solid crowd where there's a lot of great spirit, but we're not, a, you know, hockey players are known to be some serious partiers, and I get it, it's just past lunchtime, hearing a lot of ACDC playing, <laughs> no doubt about that. But I'll tell you, folks seem to be really, really just having a great time, and we get a lull, a lull that comes through, and then after head coach goes through and we've seen some of the other folks and then we're getting a little bit of a break. So I've been looking for the Tiki bar. I've been looking for <laughs> for Sean and for Paul. I haven't seen it. Taylor, did you see this guy? There's a guy going around here with a motorized, he's got a cup and he's got a motorized surfboard going on there. So yeah, I mean this, you think the I-4 is backed up in the middle of the afternoon or toward the end of the afternoon? I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. So I'm just as up and you can still see him coming on through. So it continues to move. And I just checked radar, and that was the one thing that I wanted to do. In fact, I can probably even show it to you. I was looking on our Storm Shield app and, and trying to see exactly where the rain was, and I think we're good. I think we're good for at least a few hours before we start looking at that rain coming in. So I'm afraid to say I still feel real confident that if folks are heading over to Julian B. Lane, you're going to be running into some storms. I mean, it's afternoon in the summertime. We're bound to. But for the time being, everything is absolutely amazing. And we are getting a little bit of a low right now. So Jameson and Wendy, as, as well as James and Dia, I'm not exactly sure where the, where the parade is with you, but I'll tell you what, we'll be back after this with our continuing coverage of the Bolts Victory Stanley Cup Parade. Back after this.